Green light is switched on, they're racing. From out wide, another D was restrained at the start. So too was Swanee and Panama began brilliantly, looking for the early lead, but Sunshine Joe tries to hunt through on the inside, but didn't have the pace of Panama, and Panama was a clear leader in the run to the first bend. Three lengths, Sunshine Joe. Two lengths, Rajah Khan, third. Then came Earth Mover. Another D settles fifth without cover. Then came After a Grand, followed by Sweet Calamity. Then Nathan Dean, Swanee second last, and Blue Bolero last of all. Almost at the end of the first quarter, and Panama the front runner. Two lengths on Sunshine. Joe. Another D continues to stride up. He's now at the leader's wheel. Rajar Khan fourth on the rail. Being tracked up by Earth Mover. Then came Sweet Calamity. Now Donahue looking for the lead with another D and the favourite rolls to the top inside the 1100. First quarter run in a neat 30. So little speed on early and another D now takes control. Panama sits second. Two lengths Sunshine Joe third. A length and a half Rajar Khan fourth. And Sweet Calamity fifth on the first without cover. Next on the inside Earth Mover being covered by Nathan Dean. Then came after a grand Blue Bolero second last and last of the 10 was Swanee. So they make their way to the side of the track and run past the 800. And another D, looking at his sixth win from seven starts, was the leader. Panama second on his back. Running third, moving up Sweet Calamity without cover around Sunshine Joe. And then Nathan Dean, Raja Khan. Blue Bolero satellite three wide from the tail of the field. Then after a Grand Earth mover. And Swanee last of all as they run past the 600. 32-2 next quarter. First half in 62.2. It's another D, the leader. A length in front of Panama. Now held up in a pocket as Sweet Calamity moves up on the outside. Blue Bolero runs to fourth, three wide. Then came Nathan Dean, Raja Khan, Sunshine Joe held up on the rail. Then after a grand followed by Earth Mover and Swanee was last as Nathan Dean broke at the 300. Up the back straight in 30.1. There should be plenty of gas in the tank for the long odds on favourite. He rounds the corner another D. Panama was second. Third Sweet Calamity. Fourth Sunshine Joe and Raja Khan gets to fifth. Panama comes off another D's back. 100 metres to go. Another D going strongly. Panama can't uh, equal the task at the moment. He's running a good race Panama but another D with Donahue sitting as quiet as a church mouse goes to the line a length in front and scores from Panama third I think Sunshine Joe just in front of Sweet Calamity a gap to Raja Khan then came Earth Mover Swanee Blue Bolero Nathan Dean and after a grant last home 10, 7 and 10. Now they're set and they're away and racing this time and beginning brilliantly always Grand Captain My Captain got out way very quickly so did Quaintly Quaintly and Barcelona Blaze going to settle down in four spot just off the speed. They're three lengths in front of Odalette then River Band and Wandala Lads at the tail of the field. Up the side Captain My Captain always Grand go together. Quaintly Quaintly's pulling hard and Cummings can't hold him at the moment. He's going to have to go up three wide. Barcelona Bay's on the fence behind the speed. Then about three lengths away Odalette then River Band and Wandala Wandana Lad. Always Grand surges to the front now from Captain My Captain. Barcelona Bay comes out too deep. Quaintly, Quaintly's very wide on the track and forced deeper. They're following a gap for the back of the field to Waddleett and well back in the field behind those. Then came Wandana Lad who's well back with Riverbend on the turn. Always Grand in front of Captain My Captain. Quaintly, Quaintly. Barcelona Bay drop back a length or so. They straighten up. Always Grand in front. Captain My Captain the rail. Quaintly, Quaintly the outside. Barcelona Bay's behind them and Riverbend's finishing on pretty strongly. Captain My Captain Captain's in front, trying hard the centre, always Grand, Quaintly, Quaintly and River Bend down the outside and Wandana Lad from the clouds, here's a boil over, they go to the line, photo all tight, Wandana Lad or River Bend, a nose in it, maybe Wandana Lad, Captain My Captain gets third, then came Odalette, Quaintly, Quaintly, always Grand and Barcelona Bay was the last one to pull up, photo... <laughs> They're racing. Beginning beautifully was promising. Leams went straight to the front, but headed quickly by Rough Copy and Wilf for Wendy stepped away well. Is vying up towards second now. A length away next was Scott Thomas, Brutal Bruno, Makeway Girl. Second last was Electra, and last of all was Bristol Express. Down the back, and Rough Copy clears out to lead by five. Wilf for Wendy second. Promising Links third, followed by Makeway Girl, Scott Thomas. A gap of four, Brutal Bruno from Bristol Express and Electra. To the home turn, Rough Copy still two in front. Closing on it now was Promising Links on the inside. Rough Copy just in front promising links claims it all photo rough copy and promising links could go either way third either make way girl or will for wendy followed next by scott thomas behind those brutal bruno second last electra and last was bristol express very close photo there in the first half. racing Royal Tuck stood there, Atomic Power galloped away, Showcard goes away quickly, leads early. Rosano shows early, speed off the 10 metre mark, Classic Lord has galloped and Duke of Broadway went away safely for a stride, then hopped out of his gear, severely checking Rosano, putting her out of business. Duke of Broadway's out of business early in the race and Showcard goes through and leads early from Ambro Armar. Born to be king on the rail is travelling up into third placing, followed by Oh What a Voyage. Five metres away, Fellas Ego away perfectly, settling down fifth and six metres 
metres away back in the field is Brother Clare. A break of 10 metres to Royal Tuck. Already 20 metres away, Times are Marching, followed by Classic Lord. Then Hugo's Party, Atomic Power. Kurga 10 metres away. A break of 50 metres to Duke of Broadway. And 15 metres away, Rosano. Two circuits out and Brother Clare the first to pull out three wide. Racing out of the straight towards the 1700 metre turn. And in front of Showcard, about five metres to Born to be King. A head away on the outside is Ambro Armour. Brother Clare out three wide, being hard driven, racing towards the back, followed by Oh What a Voyage in the centre. Then Fellas Ego. Royal Tucker's making ground the fence. Second division, 15 metres away, are headed by Times the Marching Classic Lord. Six metres to Hugo's Party, followed by Atomic Power. Ten metres to Cougar. Duke of Broadway's 120 metres away, and 15 metres away behind him is Rosano. On the top turn, they race once again, and Brother Clare on the outside sits up within five metres of the leader, which is Showcar towards the 1150 metre turn. Racing third always behind the leader is Born to be King. Royal Tuck now comes off the fence, draws up to the one by one. Ambro Armas run his race. First split of the mile in 29.9. Then Fellas Ego now easing three wide. Oh, what a voyage in the centre. Royal Tuck again switches back to the rail. Trailed up by Times of Marching. Ambro Armas losing ground. Classic Lord now pulling out. Trailing Fellas Ego. Atomic Power the rail. Hugo's party makes his move. Followed by Cougar. Out the back 80 metres away are Duke of Broadway and 15 metres away Rosano. Out of the straight they race towards the 700. Second quarter in 32 seconds. Show card in front. Under plenty of pressure though. Fellas Ego straight up easily on the outside. Draws up within two and a half metres of show card and sits up on the outside. Two metres away. Third born to be king. Classic Lords under pressure out wide. Brother Clare not racing well. On the rail is Royal Tuck. Followed by Hugo's party on a loose rein. Oh what a voyage. Check there for stride. Followed by Cougar pulling out wide. Then times are marching atomic power. And out the back Ambro Armour. Duke of Broadway and Rosano on the home turn towards the 250. Third quarter in 30.3 quickly fellas ego on the outside hit the lead he beat off show card royal tuck on the outside running a race from well back as cougar making ground then times are marching at the 150 though and it's all fellas ego he's got them covered he's 10 meters in front of royal tuck times are marching cougar making ground followed by atomic power but fellas ego is far too good for these and fellas ego wins by six meters second royal tuck a metre third times are marching. Atomic Power, a good run close up with Cougar. Just in behind them, Show Card, followed by Hugo's Party. Then Oh What a Voyage, Classic Lord, Born to be King. Well back, Brother Claire, Ambro Armour, Duke of Broadway. And last in was Rosano. We're off and racing and Boogie Fever out wide went away well. Ebony King in the centre and Scottish Jake are going through. Old Bowl from the outside working across and dropping in behind them. General Lee and Ukulele Boy. Prince Lobel no speed from the gate. Langigo caught on a limb into the first turn from Chamferon and General Whiskers drops out of the tail of the field. Scottish Jake are held them out as they go towards the back. It's break as a length now. Second is Ebony King. Old Bowl working up three wide and four wide. The mare Boogie Fever is going forward. Ukulele Boy on their backs a length into General Lee about Five away to Prince Lobel, Bell, General Whiskers. Out deep, Lang Ego's had to drop back. Champheron going through on its inside and they share last spot as they work up to the top turn and Boogie Fever puts it to Scottish Joker as they run towards the 1400 Scottish Joker just in front of Boogie Fever the outside Old Bowl locked up on their inside and then came around the outer uh, moving up there is uh, Ebony King and uh, moving forward their general lead to get the one out and one back trail from a length away ukulele boy about two then to Prince Lobel, Bell and on the inside General Whiskers Champheron back second last it's outside Langigo is last of all they come down to get the bell this time Scottish Joker the front runner Boogie Fever will settle on its outside and it's quite happy to do so it sits within about a half length of the leader Old Bow locked away third on the fence 1-1 one, one General Lee Ebony King locked away on the fence then from Ukulele Boy and Prince Lobel. Bell General Whiskers locked away from Langigo and Chamferon sharing last pace they're in five pairs as they go past the judge heading towards the back in the final circuit Scottish Joker the front runner a bit of half to Boogie Fever and a half back on the inside Old Bow General Lee fourth one out and one back and then came Ebony King. A half back, it's outside to Ukulele Boy. Langigo again goes off three wide. Back on the fence, General Whiskers from Prince Lobel Bell given a smack with the whip and chamfer on last of all. They go half down the back of the 600 and Scottish Joker tapped up on its outside as Boogie Fever and that's made a staying test now. General Lee pulls out from the running line with a good run. Jerrigan waited it by and bided his time. Over on the inside, Old Bowl, then Ebony King. Langigo from Ukulele Boy, General Whiskers. And then came Prince Lobel Bell and Chamfer on. 
Scottish Shaker still the front runner. It's under the whip though. On the outside getting to a General Lee. Boogie Fever battling on back in third. Al Bow getting up on the fence then Ebony King. Lang Ego working into it but wide. And then came General Whiskers from Prince Low Bell. It looks to be a race in two. Scottish Jaker and on the outside General Lee. They beat off Boogie Fever and Al Bow. General Lee worked to the lead from Scottish Fever. Over on the inside is Al Bow battling on and then Boogie Fever. General Lee went to the lead from Scottish Jaker and General Lee coming away. General Lee too good. Three parts to Scottish Jaker and third might be Boogie Fever holding on in front of General Whiskers. Then Lang Ego, Prince Low Bell, Ebony King, champ for an old bowl and Ukulele Boy was last in. Six, three and a photo there at Newcastle. Winner number six, General Lee from number three, Scottish Joker. Photo for third, possibly number ten, Boogie Fever. Last of the day and they're off. Deep out, Ledger Man sprung out of the stools very quickly. Life of Riley with early dash. Bork Vader and going up on the inside soon after the start. Looking for the front is Donna Kier. They're being closely followed by Yellow Smile and easing across behind them. Western Rush followed then by What a Maze. Nathjar back in the centre. Steele's best captain, Jet Monte Mitro, caught wide. They're followed by Symphony Serene, the stablemates, tax package and generalisation. Roshemke second last. And at the tail of the field is Radium Street going along past the 700. Yellow's Smile has been taken to the lead. Got a length on Borg. Vader Ledger Man third, fourth. Life of Riley Donakir fifth. Followed by Western Rush and Watermay is looking to be going all right behind them. Then Steele's best and followed by Nathjar. Monty Mitro still three off the fence. Symphony Serene Captain Jet well back with the tax package generalisation. Second last is Rashemkin. Radium Street whipped them in. Yellow Smile was first for home at the 300 mark and led from Ledger Man. Ledger Man though popped the question. Raced up alongside of Yellow Smile. Western Rush is running on well. Borg Vader, then Watermaze and Monty Mitro. At the 100, Ledger Man in front from Western Rush and then Watermaze flying home on the outside. They split the line. Ledger Man, Watermaze, Ledger Man, I think. Ledger Man just beat the fast finishing Watermaze. Western Rush between them, close up third. Borg Vader's on the fence. Roshemke from second last was finishing on strongly ahead of Monty. Well, thanks to Albion Park for holding. They've just jumped there. Newcastle Harness Racing Club logo away and Suru King went a little roughly soon after the start. However, Ring Billy flew the tapes and was the early leader and there's downhill whizzing through from the 10 metre mark. He's already up running second early and I reckon Donna who's going to have a crack for the lead. Damien Stanky leads on Ring Billy but I think he'll be content to take a trail and downhill's about to run to the top after 300 metres. Another leader settles third and Wigan Gown fourth. Two lengths away Suru King. Then came Fighting Fury three wide early around Minotaur. Canny Berry was only fairly away off his 10 metre mark and now he's held up in traffic worse than midfield. Followed by Union Monarch, King Leo, Caesar's Halo and Style Master last of all. Donna who slows the speed on downhill. They come down with two circuits to go. It's downhill a length and a half in front of Ring Billy second. Fighting Fury strides up to race without cover. And now Wigan Gown gets a one-out, one-back trail, racing in that round another leader. The next pair were Minotaur on the outside of Suru King. Bowyer was able to work off the fence on Canterbury. Then came King Leo on the inside of Union Monarch. Caesar's Halo second last. And the back marker Style Master last of all, 12 lengths off the lead. They head to the back straight. They've almost completed one circuit and Downhill's going to take plenty of running down. He's a length in front of Ring Billy on his back. Fighting Fury third without cover. Now Graham Bayer wasn't happy with the slow speed. He wasn't going to let Donahue get things all his own way. So off he goes on Canterbury three wide and he's about to race to the leader's wheel. Along the back straight at the 1500. Downhill a length on Canterbury second. Ring Billy continues to get a good trip in third spot. Fighting Fury fourth as the pace quickens. Then another leader racing inside. Wigan Gown two lengths away. Minotaur outside of Suru King. Then came King Leo style. Master third last, second last Caesars Halo and Union Monarch goes back to the tail. Sectional board not working, coming to the home turn, 1200 metres left to go. It's the fancy pair up front, downhill the inside and Canny buried his wheel. Ring Billy was third and Fighting Fury fourth with cover. Trailed up by Wigan Gown around another leader and then came Minotaur on the outside of Suru King. King Leo was fourth last, third last Caesars Halo, second last Style Master and last of all Union Monarch. This pair going hammer on tong past the winning post, there's no loitering. Downhill the leader a half in front of Canny Berry who's making a real staying test. They scoot away, three lengths on Ring Billy third and Fighting Fury fourth. Then Wigan Gown followed by another leader, Minotaur, Suru King. King Leo pulls out to make a run three wide but they're struggling the back markers at the moment as the speed is hot. Then Style Master seizes Halo 
and Union Monarch last of all to the back straight with 6.50 left to go. Downhill still the leader. A length in front of Canny Berry second. Four lengths away third was Ring Billy. Fighting Fury shown the whip. Wigan Gown sets a light three wide. Then another leader. Minotaur followed then by King Leo Suru King. Further back came Union Monarch. Caesars Halo and Style Master last of all. Downhill the leader at the 400. Not much gas left in the tank but they are flat chasing him. He's a length in front of Ring Billy who's run up onto the leader's back again. Canny Berry for the moment can't quite go on. Wigan Gown coming three and four wide. Then Fighting Fury. Minotaur held up and so was another leader. But uh, kicking on the home kern downhill. Downhill got away two lengths in front. There's a run now for Ring Billy if he's good enough. Then Wigan Gown and down the outside King Leo. Downhill the leader. He's flat at the hundred metres. Ring Billy trying hard. Downhill in front. Ring Billy running him down. Downhill still in front. Ring Billy trying hard. Downhill. Downhill. Downhill wins on the line from Ring Billy. Third is close. Wigan Gown, Suru King or King Leo. Then Caesars Halo, another leader, Minotaur, Union Monarch, followed by Fighting Fury, Style Master, and after attacking the leader up front, Kenny Berry's run last. Five, two and a five. The wide market is number one, Renouf at 490 and 220. Ready for a start. Set. They're racing. Missing the start was Cash Venture. Renouf began pretty well, but Gala Roo on the outside has enough dash to get to the lead from Icy Jim second. Third, Renouf, and three further back to Mansell, followed by Norgan uh, Noir Garcon and also Cash Venture. On the outside, Racy Whisper and Palm Grove is last. Towards the back, it's Renouf in front by a length over Icy Jim second. Two lengths away, third was Gala Roo, followed by Mansell, Racy Whisper, Cash Venture, Noir Garcon is last, and passing it is Palm Grove. Towards the home turn, Renouf is just in front. I see Jim sticking on. Three lengths away. Third was Racy Whisper but into the straight. It's Renouf in front and holding I see Jim. Renouf first. Second I see Jim. Third Gala Roo. Fourth Racy Whisper. Followed by Cash Venture Noir Guasson. Second last was Palm Grove and last of all was Mansell. 168 there, Penrith Race by the Wheat Chief Hotel. Now they're off and racing in the first. Ferguson began quickly. Natchan going with Ferguson early. Now Norwest is trying to get across the pair to the first turn, but it can't. Natchan has the inside running and it'll now take the trail. So probably as expected, the favourite Ferguson works to the lead. By three metres, Norwest are without cover. And Natchan taking the nice trail in behind the leader. Grabbing a trail from his wide draw early is Daniel's son and one court wide Carmen Irish. Next along in the field then uh, Back along the inside on settling down was Atomic Lace. Back on the inside behind her, Innovative. Then a ripple light and Black Blur settles at the tail. Lee favoured it down to the judge. The odds on favoured Ferguson on top. She led by three metres. Carmen Irish working up second. Nat Chan with the trail behind the leader. Norwest is now 1 1. Lead time 47.1. Atomic Lace three back the rails. On its back no, oh, it was uh, Innovative. Covering up Innovative. Daniel Sun now one out and two back. On its back a Rippolite racing solo one off and on the back of a Rippolite was uh, the other one from the uh, the southeast black blur down the back they race and Ferguson on top she's traveling strongly five meters clear Nat Chan with a nice trail second down on the inside of Carmen Irish which has done a fair bit of work in that first lap back along the rails at Tommy Clay she's enjoying a nice run but she's going to need a bit of luck Norwester covers her four meters away in the field Daniel Sun back along the inside to innovative there's been no change for a while then a ripple light and just as I speak black blurs taking off from the tail first quarter run in 31.6 as they come for the bell and the leader Ferguson she's traveling strongly he's got a nice hold on her four meters Carmen Irish Nat Chan with a lovely trail black blurs coming around the quick the uh, field quickly it's a long slight uh, striding type black blur Norwest to the center back along the rails atomic lace where she's badly bowed up now a ripple light onto the back of black blur and then Daniel Sun and innovative they head towards the back seven 700 out. The leader's going very well at second quarter, 31.2. So she's run along at a fair clip and Ferguson clear by four metres. Black Blur continuing on runs to second as Carmen Irish was beaten or it got into bother there. Fell back on top of Norwester. Nat Chan still not into the clear. A ripple light out wider. Atomic Lace about to get clear here inside of Carmen Irish. Innovative follows it and Daniel Sun push wide leaving the back. Ferguson still going well. Black Blur trying to get on terms though. Got within about three and a half 
metres now. Raising a big effort. He has to get busy on the leader. Then Nat Chan. Atomic Lay struggling to get them. And then Innovative onto the turn. Ferguson two metres in front. The South East and a Black Blur running the big race. They're clear of Nat Chan. Atomic Lay Innovative. Ferguson responding. Black Blur can do no more. Innovative might sneak into the trifecta spot. But Ferguson too good. Five metres Black Blur. A very good run. Innovative has got through to get third. In front of Nat Chan and Atomic Lace, then Norwester, a Ripperlite, Daniel Sun, and Carmen Irish last in. 4, 12, and 10 there on the first at Globe Derby. 4, 12. Now, Vision Man away fairly, winning the start. Tricky Jim Worthy, Shirley out, widened on the rails. Blinky's bounties hustling through into the first corner. Uh, go, going right up behind them was the fave Vision Man, the centre Cairo Hustler. A couple to Matefa, followed by Jason Praise, and lack of all, last of all, Brave Heart. In the back straight, Vision Man's got a glorious rails run to dash to the lead. And Vision Man leads three lengths to Cairo Hustler, Tricky Jim. Blinky's Bounty and Worthy, Shirley, but it's all Vision Man, and Vision Man wins the first quite comfortably. Vision Man by four or five lengths to Cairo Hustler. Three away third, Tricky Jim, followed by Blinky's Bounty, and then Worthy, Shirley. Braveheart behind those, Jason Praise and Matefa was last to greet the judge. One, six and five over the line. Jumped at Mooney Valley. Here's Brian speed. Muckovic. Now better luck on the outside goes forward. So too does Mole Flanders travelling up at three wide. On the fence early is out of radius, followed by Gordon Gecko. Loyal Bryce five metres away. A break of ten metres to gold line. And 15 metres away, Warrior Khan. On the bend they race and in front is Fine Glance. Racing deep early is Mole Flanders, followed by out of radius on the rail. Our better luck now gets to fourth. Peeling out deep early is Loyal Bryce, followed by Gordon Gecko. Six metres to gold line and Warrior Khan is 15 metres away. Towards the 1800 metres they race down the straight and Mole Flanders took over now by six metres to fine glance. Five metres away out of radius on the rail. From second last now gold line pulls out. Loyal Bryce on the outside is fourth out of the straight followed by our better luck. Then Gordon Gecko and 12 to 15 metres away, Warrior Khan. Towards the 1600 metre turn, they race and Gold Lions out wide. He's making ground. He draws up into second placing, sits up on the outside of Mole Flanders, within four metres actually. Towards the 1500 metres, they race. Fine glance a metre back and third. Loyal Bryce has the cover. Two metres to outer radius, followed by our better luck. Then Gordon Gecko and Warrior Khan are starting to warm up to the task. He's only six metres away and in a stride or two may pull to the outside. To Towards the 1250 metre turn they race and Mole Flanders in control. Her margin five and a half metres. Two on the outside, gold line without cover. Ahead away third, the rail is fine glance. Fourth on the outside is Loyal Bryce, followed by outer radius on the rail. Our better luck is third last, followed by Gordon Gecko. And Warrior Khan, one off the fence, is still back at the tail, 25 metres off the lead and about to ease out. Towards the 950 metres they race. First split of a mile in 30.6. Mole Flanders in control. Can she keep on going though? Her margin three metres, two gold line the outside, a metre back and third is fine glance, followed by Loyal Bryce. Now Warrior Khan pulls to the outside, three wide travelling out of the straight, out of radius back on the rail, then our better luck, second last Gordon Gecko, Warrior Khan last out of the straight, 20 metres off the lead at the 600 metre turn, second quarter 31.5, Mole Flanders still in control, shaken up by two and a half metres to gold line, a metre third still needing a run, fine glance, followed by Loyal Bryce. Warrior Khan travelling up to the mouth, three wide, making ground. He's under a very good hold. In behind them came out a radius, followed by Gordon Gecko, and one off the fence is our better luck. Before the turn inside the 300 metres they race, third split of the mile in 29.2. Mole Flanders a metre in front of Gold Lines, shaken up on the outside, and Warrior Khan just ambled up on the outside, out three wide. Then fine glance, followed by Loyal Bryce at the 150. Warrior Khan given a bit more rain in a twinkling of an eye, he hit the lead and the race is all over. Mole Flanders can't go on. Loyal Bryce is down the outside making ground, but Warrior Khan is far too classy and Warrior Khan bolts in. Warrior Khan wins 10 metres. Second Loyal Bryce, I think Mole Flanders third. A half hit to fine glance, gold line at a radius. Then our better luck and last in was Gordon Gecko. Winner there, number eight, Warrior Khan, ahead of number six, a loyal Bryce, and a photo for third. The winner to pay about $1.30 on Super Tab. Now, last runners moving in at Penrith for race number two. Here's Rod Fuller. OK, Russ, and the favourite here in the third is number three, Aussie Ace, at five to two, in front of two, Midge Noon, at three to one. And they're all set. The green light switched on. Bunny up to the boxes. Favourite Aussie Ace, 340 and 160. 
Ready and racing. Aussie Ace missed the start and winning it was Violet O'Hara. Moving up Classy Natalie on the inside and sweeping out out wide was Mighty Suspect. At the first turn, Mighty Suspect in front of couple went via the cave. Violet O'Hara and Manatar. And on the inside, Aussie Ace gets a beautiful run. Race to the front down the back. Aussie Ace two clear for Midge Noon second. Third out wide, Mighty Suspect followed by Cashbox and a gap of three giga jewel for Manatar and Violet O'Hara. To the home turn, Aussie Ace is in front. Challenging Midge Noon. Aussie Ace a half in front. Midge Noon trying hard flying was cash box but Aussie Ace Aussie Ace wins from either cash box or Midge Noon a long gap to the others mighty suspect followed by Manatar and Violet O'Hara from Giga Jewel and Classy Natalie and that was Rod Special number three Aussie Ace the winner Fatto for the minors there race three at Penrith they're getting ready at Newcastle, going there shortly. Globe Derby, race one, Ferguson. The blue light, they're off and racing. Sir Mateo went back shortly after the start and so excellent, went out well. But the flying MRJ came out that little bit quicker. And into the first turn, MRJ will lead from so excellent, Alcyone. Going around the outside with the run was uh, Ken Sim. Ali Carney dropped back at that point. Over on the inside, 10 bears from Pepe Fast Cars and Sir Mateo drops out of the tail. MRJ got to the lead, but it mightn't have it for long as Cosquin pulls out on so excellent. He moves up within a half length of uh, MRJ almost draws in front of it, they clear about three lengths in front of Alcyone and Ten Bears, Pepe Fast Cars racing now on the inside of Ali Khan from Sir Mateo and last of all now Ken Sim, the big striding so excellent having a bit of a job to get around MRJ but past the judge with a lap to go eventually does so and down to the judge with 9.40 from home, so excellent on top by a length to MRJ, three lengths away to Alcyone, the first of the outside brigade on the inside is Ten Bears, Ali Khan is carting up on the back of Alcyone on the inside is Pepe Fast Cars then Sir Mateo three back in the running line and two lengths last of all Ken Sim the pace is pretty quick as they go to the back so excellent the leader by about a length and a half now and MRJ with a drop on the leader tapped along to keep up as Alcyone but it's moving forward and then ten bears Ali Khan Benskin still has a good hold on it on the inside Pepe Fast Cars ahead away Sir Mateo and three lengths last of all Ken Sim they race to the top turn and so excellent still the front runner leads by a length and a half being let run along MRJ is second Alcyone third on the outside, Alakan yet to go and then came Ten Bears from Sir Mateo over on the inside, Pepe Fast Car and Ken Sim last of all, still no moves, now Benskin pulls out on Ali Khan it's sprinting quick, so excellent the leader coming up to the bend, MRJ comes off its back Alcyone three wide, four wide Ali Khan and five wide will be Sir Mateo, so excellent, grabbed on the outside by MRJ, Alcyone, Ali Khan and Sir Mateo's coming with a rush in front now is, is MRJ Ali Khan getting to it, Sir Mateo down the outside, Ali Khan coming with a well time run he'll get up oh i think he has ali khan a nose to mrj and third home still another photo sir mateo so excellent and peppy fast cars then came alcyone 10 bears and last of all ken sim photo after race three they're all ready Arms fold back, they're racing. Trust Agnes, no speed out. Land on fire from the pole, only fairly away. And best to begin was Top Lover. Top Lover finds the fence first from Land on Fire and Smooth Kid. And Linwood Gem was hustled out of the gate. And she's going up three wide in the run to the first bend. They're followed by Shoshone Gold, caught three deep around Memsab's mistake. And then came JJ's Rebel. A gap of three lengths to Trust Agnes, outpaced early. Albi Da Vinci, second last. And JJ's Rebel, who was slow to leave at Barrier Rise, was last of all. Heading down to the home turn at the 1200, the leader, Top Lover. Linwood Gem moves to second at the leader's wheel. Land on fire is trying to work away from the fence. Can't quite do so at the moment. Shoshone Gull going up wide on the track. Being pushed deeper also was Smooth Kid. Saving ground along the rail, JJ's Rebel. Then Memsab's mistake, followed by Shoshone Gold. Trust Agnes second last and Jalva Boy last of all. 28-5 first quarter, plenty of speed on and chopping and changing. Top lover the leader. Shoshone Gold gets to second on the outside. Smooth Kid's had no luck, he's caught three deep. And JJ's Rebel has gone right up along the inside to be on the leader's back. Linwood Gem was fifth with cover in the running line. Trailed up by Land on Fire who worked off the fence, but he lost his position. He's now midfield. Trust Agnes goes through along the inside. Shoshone Gold starts a run through. Three deep, Memsab's mistake second last, and Jalva Boy last of all. 30.4 next quarter, they're humming, 58.9 the first half. Top lover the leader at the 500. Now JJ's Rebel about to work off the fence. Trust Agnes has saved a heap of ground. She's got to third, Shoshone Gold fourth but under sufferance. Then Smooth Kid dropping off, Linwood Gem is held up. Memsab's mistake.
mistake taking the shortcuts right up along the inside. Land on fire was forced four and five wide, but starts to run on. Gel the boy second last, and Albi Da Vinci last of all. Top lover ahead in front of JJ's Rebel approaching the turn. Trust Agnes emerges three wide, four wide, land on fire. Memsab's mistake behind them looking for a run, and Linwood Gem behind them. They're homeward bound, top lover gone. JJ's Rebel hit the front, tackled by Trust Agnes on the outside. JJ's Rebel and Trust Agnes with Trust Agnes taking the lead. A length now in front of JJ's Rebel. Then Memsab's mistake and land on fire, but Trust Agnes wins. Beats JJ's Rebel. Third is close, maybe Memsab's mistake just in front of Top Lover and land on fire. Just behind them, Linwood Gem and Jell the Boy. A gap then to Shoshone Gold, Smooth Kid, and Albi Da Vinci is last home. Race two, racing, and best out was Blue Burns was able to lead, settling down, but Pretty West and Imperial Blue raced through to go to the lead soon after. Imperial Blue went to the lead from Pretty West, crossing over Shortar. Big Bad Wilbur's over on the rails, finding it now from Terrific Time. Then Swallow Rev, Shane's choice. Blue Burns is back to last. Imperial Time's the leader. Out by three lengths to Shortar. Big Bad Wilbur on the inside and a couple Terrific Time. Imperial Blue swings for home from Shortar. Imperial Blue in front, Shortar picking it up and Imperial Blue wins from Shortar. Now close for third, Big Bad Wilbur just in advance of Swallow Rev and Terrific Time. And